Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Jared from J&H Adventures. I am in Phoenix, Arizona on a work trip and had the opportunity to take a hike in South Mountain Park in the south of Phoenix and I decided to try the Hobart to Dobbins Lookout Trail and well, while it was beautiful, it certainly didn't go quite the way that I expected. About halfway up South Mountain in the South Mountain Park Preserve of Phoenix, Arizona. You can see it in the valley there, Phoenix downtown. And I'm trying to get up there, but I uh, just wasn't able to make it. It's, uh, man, it's hot out here. Uh, probably 90 something degrees, sunny. You know, I'm relatively in shape, but I don't hike a lot, so I didn't want to push myself too far, but it is gorgeous out here. Check out the rest of this. So when I got back down to my car, I found a coyote waiting for me. That was pretty cool. Uh, fortunately, I was able to discover that you could actually drive up to Dobbins Lookout. So I got in the car and decided to head back up to get the views that I wanted. Let me tell you something about South Mountain Park. If you've never been to Phoenix, Arizona, or out into the desert area, it is beautiful. Just the landscape around is incredible, the peaks. Um, I've never been to places like Colorado or Wyoming, but just the drive up to Dobbins Lookout itself was amazing. The vistas were incredible to look at. I was disappointed that I wasn't able to make the hike myself. It was definitely hot. I would say probably about 95 degrees, completely sunny, and it wasn't humid, but it was so hot. Well, since I couldn't get up uh, to Dobbins Lookout on my own uh, by walking, I decided to take the drive instead. And so this is Phoenix, Arizona, on the top of Dobbins Lookout. It's gorgeous up here. It's amazing. It's beautiful. You can see the downtown. And you can see the other mountains. Had I been able to hike it myself, this view certainly would have been a fitting reward. But nonetheless, I was able to see it. The entire valley below was beautiful to look at. Up top on the lookout there was an individual selling some crafts that she had made. There was a number of people there, but it wasn't very busy. Granted, this was a Thursday afternoon in June when there's not a lot of hikers, so I can't speak to what it would be like during high season, but definitely an awesome trip if you're out in Phoenix. And then on the way down, I was treated to just more incredible views. Nothing like I've ever seen from the East Coast, but this was a really wonderful thing. And as I would say, has kindled my interest in hiking moving forward. So having been from the East Coast, uh, I've not ever been out to the desert before. I've been to California and flown over it to Southern California. So I've always, uh, you know, I always missed this part of the country, never been to the desert. So walking out here uh, on the trails are, it's just like a foreign land to me. Um, it's pretty cool, just the cactus and uh, you know, just the landscape is just so different out where I live, the Appalachian Mountains. Um, you know, they're hills and they're pretty high in elevation some, but they're all covered in, in trees. And so there's not a, you know this sort of a, a viewpoint but I mean you come over this way and there's just just peaks and things it's just it's just amazing it's beautiful out here um, again this is the South Mountain uh, Park there's Camelback Mountain there's Papago Park there's Piawesta Peak they're all surrounding Phoenix so um, if you like hiking and outdoors it's it's amazing but it is tiring it's exhausting and you need to be fit have water and all that for sure so uh, definitely take care if you come out here <laughs> 